their negotiating tactics haven't been particularly good and the language has been appalling. There's no doubt about that. I don't think they've ever done anything like this before. So he's put the, the Europeans' backs up. But fundamentally, I think the differences are tiny in terms of the overall amount of money which the Europeans are expecting the Greeks to raise or cut in terms of the budget. There should be, in theory, an agreement and it's peanuts in relation to everything else that's going on. There are those who say, well, under these conditions of austerity, Greece simply cannot go on like this because of the pressures already there in the society. What would you say to them? Oh, I think I agree with that. I think also he would have, that Cyprus would have great difficulty getting anything additional passed through his own parliament, let alone whatever may be happening with the European parliaments that need to pass the agreements as well. But uh, the Greek parliament is just not going to buy because he has very, very tough uh, uh, sort of left bit of mm -hmm. radical left of his party to deal with. They're not going to buy a lot more austerity. So. At the end of the day, what is the, the essence of any agreement that needs to be made is looking at the debt situation. And if the debt situation can be resolved somehow, so that there are some... Well, some sort of forgiveness, which of course uh, is the point. what the three he's negotiating with say they won't do. Well, of course, but uh, in addition, of course, to forgiveness, you can have extending of maturities, which already happened before. You can have lowering of interest rates again. And the interesting thing to remember is that uh, back in 2012, I think it was, when the second bailout uh, was negotiated, the Greeks were told mm -hmm. at the time, different government, of course, that if a primary surplus was achieved, which the Greeks achieved, uh, then they would look again at renegotiating the debt or look, look at whether the debt was sustainable because at least the Greeks would have met, which they have done, so, all so the fiscal expectations. So do you feel basically the Eurozone is being unreasonable then? I think to a considerable extent I do, but I think the Greeks haven't been particularly helpful either. I always thought that we'd reach a deal because there would be compromise on both sides. They'd see the light and they know that people don't want to leave the Euro and they know that people want to be part of the EU, mainly for political reasons because the Greeks want to be attached to this continent, whereas they're cut off, as you know, geographically in a way, and there are all these geopolitical things all around it, all the problems in the Middle East and Africa and so on, are quite unnerving, so they want to be part of something that they can belong to. So they know that they have to reach a deal which keeps the Greek people happy. And I think if, for some reason, it looks like Grexit is really serious uh, as a prospect, then I think they will lose an awful lot of support.